I'm Luke Nichols from the law firm of Nichols and Green and uh, this video is going to talk a little bit about ignition interlock and breathalyzer, breathalyzer machines and some of the things that can cause false positives with breathalyzer machines. So uh, those of you who are watching this video may recognize uh, this device here. This is the uh, Intoxilizer CMI SD2. It's the uh, basic PBT or preliminary breath testing device used by the Fairfax County Police Department here in uh, Virginia. A lot of local police departments use this device. It's a pretty popular device and it works from the same basic principles as the ignition interlock device and the breathalyzer machines at the police station. It works by testing the ethanol alcohol in a person's breath. It does so by taking a sample of their breath and running it across uh, an electrochemical cell. The uh, alcohol reacts with uh, the chemicals in the cell which produces electricity and a voltmeter measures the amount of electricity produced and that is correlated to a breathalyzer result. So basically it uh, works like this. And you can uh, see from this machine here that uh, I'm coming up 0 0.001. So within the range of tolerance, but basically stone cold and sober, and uh, the machine says so. So uh, something else I want to show you is this. This is a slice of uh, potato bread. Basic uh, sandwich bread you get from the uh, grocery store. And what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how this can create a false positive on this or any other breathalyzer device. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to eat myself a slice of bread. Okay, I've eaten my bread. Now I'm going to take a, a little breath test here. You can see the numbers slowly rising as the device reads the ethanol. And we have a 0.016. Now a 0.016 is about a little under a quarter of the legal limit. So a loaf of bread like a stick a loaf of bread a slice of bread is not going to cause you to get a DUI by itself. But if you have ignition interlock in your car because you're on probation for DUI, this could cause you serious trouble. If you're on probation for DUI, you are not allowed to consume any alcohol at all. No cough syrup, no um, mouthwash, no oh, uh, a little beer in the afternoon, nothing. It's absolute abstinence from all alcoholic substances. And every time you get in your car, you'll blow into a breathalyzer machine that will record the breath results uh, of your test. And if those breath results contain any positive results, any positive results for alcohol, it'll get sent to your probation officer and you could be violated for your probation. If the breath results are 0 0.02 or higher, the device will shut your car down and you will not be able to drive your car until you're able to blow a clean breath sample. And those failed test results go to your probation officer. So with this, a 0.016, because of eating this could result in a positive breath result being recorded on your ignition interlock, your probation officer thinking that you've been drinking and violating your probation. So when you've got to take one of these tests, you want to make sure you're not eating any of this. Well, hopefully this has been helpful for you and uh, taught you a little bit about uh, ignition interlock and breathalyzer machines. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.